Hey everybody, this is Brian with OceanCareStore.com, online retailer of the world's best cleaners and sealers, Ocean Care products. Today's video, we're gonna take you through a solution to a very common problem, which is calcium buildup on pool tile. Specifically areas like this, a spillway that go through a lot of wet and dry cycles, you can get that really crusty, nasty buildup. Not only are we gonna show you today how to clean this off, we're also gonna show you how to protect this tile using Ocean Care Glass and Tile Shield, which actually creates a barrier that calcium can't really stick to, and it's gonna make this tile much easier to clean in the future and prevent more calcium buildup. So you can spend more time enjoying your pool and less time cleaning it. Let's see how it goes. We'll be using some very basic tools for our tile cleaning today, including a four inch razor scraper, a couple different brushes, and an abrasive pad made by 3M. If you have sensitive skin or just want to be extra cautious, you may want to also consider wearing a pair of gloves. I've reviewed the safety data sheets for all of the products I'm using and have decided not to, but you should review that information and make that decision for yourself. The first step in cleaning will be using the scraper to mechanically remove as much of the heavy buildup as you can. By removing the heaviest buildup this way, you'll use a lot less of the cleaner and save yourself a bunch of time. Now keep in mind the tile I'm cleaning here is a glazed porcelain tile, which is pretty durable. So I'm able to use the razor scraper and a fairly aggressive green scrub pad without really worrying too much about causing damage to the tile. But if you're cleaning a tile that is more prone to scratching, you may need to use less aggressive tools. For example, if you're cleaning glass tile, I'd highly suggest using a plastic putty knife instead of the razor scraper and the blue pad from 3M, which is less aggressive than the green one I'm using here. Now once you have the heaviest built up areas pretty well scraped off, liberally apply Ocean Care Products Calcium Releaser. You'll see the product react and fizz when it comes in contact with the calcium, which lets you know it's working. With the calcium releaser, time is your friend, and the longer you can let the cleaner sit on the buildup, the better. The calcium releaser is a very safe cleaner and will not damage porcelain or even iridescent glass tile, regardless of how long the product sits on the surface. So here's a pro tip. After you've hit the heavy areas with the calcium releaser once or twice, use a little plastic cling wrap to cover the areas. This will keep the cleaner from drying out and keep it active longer. When I'm cleaning a pool, I like to start with the worst areas of buildup, scrape them down, apply the calcium releaser, cover it with plastic, and then let it bake in the sun while I work on the rest of the pool. The areas I covered in plastic here sat for an hour or two before I got back to them, and they actually ended up being the easiest areas I cleaned all day. If you have the ability to leave the pump off, you can even let the cleaner sit overnight with plastic over it. Work smarter, not harder. Let the cleaner do the work for you. Ahead of cleaning the waterline tile, make sure the water level has been lowered a little bit to expose the deposits and everything's had a chance to really dry out. And from there, it's the same process of scraping, applying the calcium releaser, and scrubbing until everything's broken down. Now, keep in mind, the deposits will be removed in layers, so depending on how much buildup is on the tile, you may have to make multiple passes. The buildup on the spa hadn't been cleaned in over a year, so it took a few times of going over it with a scraper, scrub brush, and scrub pad to get it completely clean. And each time as I'm going, I'm spraying and leaving the cleaner on it as the last step just to let that continue to sit and work while I'm working my way around the spa. The last step in the cleaning process is to thoroughly rinse everything with water to make sure you got off all the cleaner and all the little bits of broken down calcium. In particular, I really like to focus on the grout joints and use a scrub brush to make sure I'm really getting down into that texture to get all those little bits of calcium out of the grout surface. In the past, I've had some issues with getting a white haze on the grout after I've done cleaning, uh, and I found that the thorough rinse at the end really does a good job of preventing that. All right, guys, now we're done cleaning. This pool had some pretty heavy buildup in it. It was pretty crusty and it was pretty hard. I gotta say, even with the calcium releaser, as good as a cleaner as it is, and it did break it down, it softened it, it did what it's supposed to do, but it's still a process. It's still some elbow grease. It's still a lot of scraping and scrubbing. And I gotta tell you, I don't wanna do that any more often than I absolutely have to. And that's where this product comes in. This is Ocean Care Products Glass and Tile Shield. Now, we're gonna put this on the tile now that it's clean. And this creates an invisible barrier that keeps future calcium from sticking to the tile. So now when you come through, you do your brushing once a week with a little scrub pad or a brush on a pole, you're actually getting 80, 90% of that calcium off with just that and a little bit of water. Uh, it's gonna keep your tile looking much, much better for much, much longer, and it's gonna save you a lot of work in the end. Now this product goes on now when the tile's clean, 
and then probably again in about six months to a year, depending on your weather and how much you use your pool. You do that, you may never have to go through that cleaning process you just saw. Let's put this on. So the glass and tile shield is a fantastic product, not only because of how well it works to prevent calcium buildup, but also because of how easy it is to apply. Really, it's as simple as putting a very thin coat over the tile and letting it dry and repeating that process a few times. In most cases, you can just spritz it on, let it dry. Sometimes I like to use something like a paper towel or a microfiber towel, spritz a little on the surface and then on the towel to wet it, and then just use the towel to spread a nice, thin, even coat. Put three thin, even coats on the tile and let it dry. As Soon as it's dry to the touch, everything can go back into service and everything's fully protected. It's that easy. All right, guys, that's it. We got this pool all cleaned up and protected with the glass and tile shield. It should be good to go for another six months or so. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you learned something. I, for one, had a fantastic day in the pool. Thank you for joining me. And for those of you who stayed to the end, I have a little bit of a treat for you. If you want to buy either of these products at OceanCareStore.com, we're going to offer you a discount code for staying to the end of the video. That discount code is going to be POOL19, all caps, no spaces. It'll be up on the screen somewhere around here. You put these two products in your cart together in either the quart or the gallon forms. Mix and match all you want. We'll give you 10% off at checkout, save you a few bucks. And as always, free shipping at OceanCareStore.com. Come check it out. Thanks for watching again. Don't do anything Captain Ocean Care wouldn't do. And always remember, keep it clean.